Dave, we're going to actually tell you what you can do with your tires this week and about what happens to the old tires that we recycle. We're here at Western Rubber in Delta, and we're going to go through the process with the main shredder coming up next on BT. We'll be right back. Yeah, and there's a big roundup that's happening on La in Langley tomorrow at the OK Tire. So if you have any old tires that you want to um, drop off, you can do that. But what happens to those tires? We're here at Western Rubber, where we're going to go through what area right now? We're in the primary shredding area where we receive the tires that are collected all over the province. The tires are coming, being delivered to our belt. These gentlemen are inspecting the tires to make sure there's no rocks, bolts, anything that will harm the machinery. Now it'll travel up the belt and be deposited in the shredding chamber. What we're attempting to do here is make a four inch shred or a four inch rubber chip. And this is the primary product that goes to our finishing plant. Okay. And then what do we see right here? This is what it looks like when it's shredded, right? Right. Uh, in order to make a four inch dimension, we have to cut it twice, so we run it through a primary shredder. It's, it comes out the outfeed belt and goes over a secondary shredder where it's then passed through onto a screening device. Onto a screening device. If the screen passes it as an acceptable dimension, it will go to the outfeed pit. If it's not an acceptable dimension, it'll be returned and cut again and then redirect it to the screen till it's acceptable. And this will eventually become what? It can be a number of products. Um, we build uh, rubber crumb for sports fields. We build a new product called Garden Mulch, which basically is uh, synonymous to what you might see in a garden center, a cedar, that sort of thing. It's a rubber product, hypoallergenic, doesn't deteriorate, no odor, and it's soft. Excellent. We're going to see that process and what that mulch looks like coming up a little bit later this morning. Once again, we're here at Western Rubber in Delta, but if you want to drop off your old tires, rim or no rim, you can go to the OK Tire in Langley. I believe we're putting that information up on our Facebook page uh, throughout the morning, so if people want more information on that, they can check that out there, Thor. Definitely, and you might not realize this, but 100% of the tire is recycled. We're going to talk about what de-beading is up next on BT. Stay with us. We'll be right back. the thing and I didn't realize this but when people recycle their tires I always thought Bob that you know most of it gets recycled I had no idea 100% can be well we're we're looking to recover 100% of the tire we haven't quite made that yet but we're less than 1% that's incredible so this part of our operation deals with highway transport truck tires and what we're doing here is we're actually pulling the bead steel out of the center of the tire preparing it to be shredded at the process we showed you earlier so what these machines are doing is are, it's extracting the bead steel. So we'll, we'll take that bead steel and we'll cut the residual rubber off it, leaving just this portion. And this portion will be cut into segments, go to Columbia, Indiana for recycling. This rubber will go to our plant in Salt Lake and the rubber will be extracted and any remaining steel will be processed. Okay. Once the carcass is prepared, then we take it, we cut it in half in a process we call bageling and we ge generate two halves of one tire, and that makes it uh, acceptable to our shredding process. And so we've got the other halves that are sitting sort of right behind Will that there. Is correct. And you said it's called bageling? We bagel it. That's just, just like just, cutting a bagel. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and this is our most valuable rubber because it's black. Okay. Okay, so it's uniform in color, and that's desirable to some people for, for molding. That's incredible. So how many tires might you recycle, or how, might, how many might you de-bead in a day? Uh, one line, and we have two lines. One line will do approximately 350, so we'll do 700 in an eight-hour shift. That is incredible. Well, you can, by the way, recycle your tires. There is a big uh, tire drop-off that's happening in Langley at the OK Tire. That is happening tomorrow. We have put all that information on our Facebook page. Coming up, right around celebrations, Jody, we're going to take a look at the shredded tire, at the pieces to see the different sizes, what they can use it for. That's all happening here at Western Rubber. It is quite the production here this morning. And Bob, what are we seeing right now? This is the discharge pit from the shredding line that you saw earlier. And what's coming off the end of the belt is four inch chip. And this is the, the material that we use for making garden mulch. Okay, so let's make our way to this 
big mountain of shredded tire. You talk about that being the four inch, so you've got several different, yeah. or a couple of different sizes here. What is this one specifically well, used for? The four inch garden mulch, again, is feedstock. It's made from passenger tires. And what we're doing is we're uh, sending this to our secondary plant for processing, and we're making garden mulch. And this garden mulch is retailed through some of the major gardening centers in Western Canada and the United States. Uh, it's colored. Uh, it's a really interesting product. It's hypoallergenic. It's uh, it's um, basically excellent fill and, and doesn't arbor insects or any of that good stuff. Uh, also, the four inch, if we want to make uh, feedstock for a sports field, we'll send it over to our secondary line. It's deposited on a walking floor where it's reinserted into the building. Once it goes in the building, it traverses through a similar process that it went through when you saw the primary shredding and exits off of uh, a belt over here and basically emerges as this, which in relation to this, you can see is roughly half the size. It is quite the process here. By the time we're finished with this, it will not have any contamination. It can be completely free of wire fiber and it'll be basically the consistency of flour or whatever consistency the customer ordered from us. Fantastic, thanks very much, Bob. For more details on course and how you can recycle your tires at the Big Drive tomorrow, go to our Facebook page. We're gonna talk about being tire smart coming up just before nine o'clock. Yeah, and we've been talking about tire recycling all morning long, but how do you know when it actually needs to be recycled and how can you preserve the life of your tire? We're talking about being tire smart up next on BT. Stay with us live from Delta. Trying to be tire smart today. So, not only we've we been learning about recycling, but we're learning about ways that you can preserve the life of your tire. So, Jim, you're starting off by preserving the life of your tire from inside the cab. Exactly. Uh, tire pressure is imperative. Um, we have an example here today with this specific vehicle where we have a tire pressure monitoring system. Uh, indicates we've got a low tire on the vehicle. Um, the, this specific model will indicate the exact pressure, um, which is, is certainly a handy thing. Um, and when you look visually at the tire, it's, it's not actually that low. Um, statistically, um, most people are driving around with low tires. Um, if we look at this specific tire here, um, comparative to the front, it's actually not um, looking low, but it actually is indeed low. 30% um, of all motorists are driving around with underinflated tires, uh, which is certainly problematic. Um, and even uh, another example would be overinflating tires. There's a lot of people now overinflating the tires. They're actually inflating the tires to what the tire's saying on the, uh, the actual tire itself. You want to go with what's on the uh, door placard itself. Very and quickly. And that's indicated there. Very quickly, how do you know when it's time to let your tire go? Uh, well, for sure, the wear bars. Um, manufacturer puts these bars across the, the face of the tire. When your tread meets that, that means you're no good. Perfect. So. Well, thank you very much, Jim. Once again, uh, these are just a few of the uses of your recycled tires right here you can drop off your tires at the OK tire in Langley tomorrow more details on our Facebook page there Jody but thanks so much to Western Rubber in Delta for having us out this morning